Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lecture on the evolutionary algorithms. Uh, in this lecture, we will see how the gray wolf optimization, that is a GWO, will work. We will explain this with the help of the numerical example. Myself, Dr. Garg, working in the School of Mathematics, Tapper Institute, India. You can contact me, either of my email IDs are there or else you can simply follow this link for more updated videos. So first of all, what is the Gray Wolf Optimizer that is abbreviated as a GWO, which is initially proposed by uh, Professor Mirziani in the year 2014 and the result is published in the advance in the uh, engineering software with volume 69. Uh, if, uh, what is they proposed that? Uh, they have proposed that in order to update the uh, position by using this equation that is uh, x uh, this small t is represented for the equation so this is over the equation you can update the solution with the formula x1 plus x2 plus x3 divided by 3 where x1 is the best one second best one and the third best one what is the meaning of the best so if, if i say my uh, of say my function values are obtained like this way 31 for 33 this 29 53 and so on and my problem is the minimization then what is the meaning of this best so what is the best value since my problem is minimization so what is the best value is here so this is my best value and this best value is denoted as x alpha so i call this value as my x alpha what is the second best value up, uh, up what is the second best value is here so this is my second best value and it is denoted as x beta Similarly, for the third best value, what is the third best value is here? This is the third best value. So once you are finding the best, second best and the third best, based on that, you can update the positions by using this equation, so where R, A and D is represented for my random number. Also, in the last lecture, we have seen their MATLAB code, which is all, all, uh, already available in the uh, playlist. You can see that. So as I discussed that, where X alpha, X beta and X delta are my best, second best and the third best. R and D is represented by for the random number which are lies between 0 1 and A is nothing but the counter which is defined like this way. Now how what is the working step of this GW algorithm? So what is that as the evolutionary algorithm you have to initialize the population size number of the equations and so on. Once you are defining this then you have to find the best second best and the third best position. Once you are initializing the population size and the best position, then you can start the equations. You can calculate the value of the A by using this. Calculate x1, x2, x3. You can calculate the new position. Check whether the new position lies between the bounds are there. And then finally perform the greedy selection. Greedy selection means you can check whether the new solution is better than or not. If it is better, you can update. Otherwise, leave them be. So this is for the equation 1 and you can repeat the process by using the equation 2, 3 and so on. So let's discuss this example, uh, the, the example of this, how, how this GW algorithm will work. So I can consider this minimization problem. So look at that my problem is minimization and my variables are 2. So in order to start with this one, we can set the initialization parameter. I consider 5 as my population size only for the uh, sake of the demonstration. While in the MATLAB code, you have seen that uh, I have set here as a 500 or 1000 and the number of the equations I can set as a 200. Now, the, our ta since in this example, you can see how many decision variables are there only x1 and x2. So therefore, your basic task is to compute the values of the x1, values of the x2 and the corresponding function value. So our goal is to calculate and update all these values are there. How you can update them? You can is firstly, uh, uh, um, initialize the parameters which are minus 5 to plus 5 so you can use them this equation l plus r random l is my lower bound so how you can calculate this value so since my lower bound for the x1 is here so you can substitute the value here minus 5 take any of the random numbers say 0.3439 upper bound is my 5 minus of minus 5 so after the calculation you will get some value it may be of here depending upon the random variable Similarly, for the x2, you can choose them. And uh, since my population size is to be 5, so that's why these are considered as a 5 1. After finding these wolves, that is a gray wolf, are there, you can find the objective function. How you can find this first value? You can pick x1 from here, x2 from here, substitute in this equation, uh, in this function, you will get this value. Similarly, for the other side. Now, remember that my problem is the minimization. Now, once you are defining this function, now your task is to find the best value, second best value and the third best value. So my problem is minimization, which one is the minimum? 
so this is the minimum so therefore the corresponding solution that is this value is called as the x of alpha that is the best value x here what is the second best value is here this is the second best value because my problem is minimization the corresponding the value of x is called as the x beta you can see that similarly the third best value is my this one 37 point so this is my x of delta once you are finding the x alpha x beta and x delta look at the steps we can initialize that we can compute this now we can perform here so we can start from this maximum equation i can set as a 200 now initially the first equation is 1 we can compute the value of a by using this equation that is a is 2 times of this that is a 1.99 after finding the value of a what is the step is we can calculate the x1 x2 and x3 the procedure of x1 x2 x3 is for my here now we can start from the first valve since there are the five valves are there we can uh, do one by one so let's start with the first valve so what is the meaning of the first valve if this is my first valve is there so this is my x i can take on here now and x alpha x beta and x delta or x gamma we have calculated here now we can compute the value of the x1 by using this x2 here and x3 here how we can calculate let's start one by one Firstly, we will calculate the value of the x1 by using these four steps are there. So look at that. In this case, the value of the a we already computed in the previous slide. You can see that the value of a is my 1.99. So I can take as a 1.99 in here. 2 times r and is any random number which is 0 and 1. So I consider as a 0.54. So once you substitute the value of a, I call as the a1. I denoted 1 for the my x1 similarly for here so once after the calculation you get the result as here similarly if you calculate this value this is at two times of the random again this is a random numbers you can take any of the number between 0 1 so after the calculation you will get here now in order to calculate d of alpha you will get here c1 c1 i already calculated x alpha we already knows that this is x alpha x is already here so we can substitute the value of here this is a c this is the x of alpha this is my x that is here value so after the calculation this is the absolute value after the calculation you will get here once you will know the value of the d alpha you can substitute the value here you can get x alpha is here x alpha this is my x alpha a1 is this one a d of alpha is here so after the calculation you will get again the two results are there and that results will be here Similarly, you can find for the second best position by using this. Again, we can find the value of here. Uh, A is as a 1.99. R, A, and D I can take as a 0.34. After the calculation, you will get this number. Similarly, for the C2, you can get here. Now, in the D of beta, look at the value of here is X of beta. So, in this case, you have taken this. C2 I taken as here. X is remain the same because for, it's for the first valve. After finding the D of beta, we can substitute the value here we can calculate the x of 2 here once you are finding the x2 similarly you can find the value of the x3 you can calculate the a3 by taking the two random numbers here after substitute the value of here we get a3 and c3 and similarly we can get the value of the x delta you can use here therefore this one so once you are finding the value of the x1 x2 and x3 we can calculate the value of the x nu by using here how you can calculate now our task is to calculate new updated value so for this we need to calculate the x1 we need to calculate the x2 so what is the x1 is this is the x1 this is the x1 that is the first particle of here so we can substitute the value here like this one this this and this divided by 3 and what is the lower and upper bound of the limit of this is minus 5 to plus 5 and it lies in between them similarly for the x2 that is by using this this and this hence my new position will be here now the question arises is can we take the previous value or we can take the new value so in order to make the decision we have to perform the greedy selection what is the meaning of the greedy selection is we can perform the function value at this new position function value at the previous value that is the previous value of here so we already know the previous value is 65 point this and in order to calculate this x new position how can you do we can substitute the value of the x1 and x2 in this we can get this value and we can compare this with the previous value since my problem problem is minimization so which one is the minimum is here so we can accept 
this solution and discard this one. So x nu will be accepted. It means we can delete this line. We can here write this value to be here. That is we can accept the solution. So that is it is better. So we can update them. So you can see x nu will be updated. So this is a phase for the first wall. Similarly, we can do for the second wall. For the second wall, this is my x. Again, we can calculate the uh, this values by using again uh, x1, x2, and x3. So again, we can calculate here. Again, this since this is for the equation one, so a will be my fix so far. R and is a random number, so you can take any of the random number. This time I can take as a point three two, while for the c I can take as a point three four. You can take any of the value as per your convenience, and this is the results. Similarly, if you substitute the value in here, c one will be this. X of alpha is the remains fix one. X of now this x is my new updated one. We will calculate it here. Similarly for the x one we here. In the similar manner, we can calculate for the second best position. We can calculate the a two, c two, d of beta, and you can see that I have uh, changes the random number at each of the equations. We can calculate it here. Similarly for the x three, we can calculate these values a three, c three, d of this, and x of three by using the simple manual calculation. So once we know the value of the x one, x two, and x three. We can calculate the new position particle for the second valve, and hence calculate the x1 and x2 are here. And again, you can see the both values are lies between minus five to plus five. For example, if say if I say the first value will be like here six seven eight, and you can see this is not belongs to the minus five to plus five. So what we can do is we can replace this value since this value is near to the five. We can replace this value as a five. But in this case, it is acceptable. So therefore, x new will be here. now you can compare whether this solution is accepted or not with respect to the previous solution here so for that you have to perform the grid selection we have to compute the function value at this new point and the function value at this x point so this point is already calculated so this is 37.1741 so we can calculate substitute the value here so we get here so uh, so is it acceptable since my problem is minimization so acceptable only when the function new calculated value is better so since f of x new is less than of this so we can delete this value and we can update this value as of here so this is the second phase and similarly we can compute for the third phase we can calculate the value of the a1 c1 by changing the random number we can calculate the d alpha again we can calculate the x1 again similarly for the second best position we can calculate the a2 c2 d of beta and x of 2 are here and finally for the third best position we can calculate the value of the a3 by changing the random number d of delta and x of 3 are here again remember that this is for the third position that's why this x is changing here now similarly for this uh, based on this x1 x2 and x3 we can compute the value of the x1 and x2 are here and again you can see both lies between minus 5 to plus 5 that is my lower and upper bound are here so once you will calculate this new position now you can check whether this is accepted or not how you can check again you have to perform the grid selection that is here you have to calculate the new function value at this point and the previous value we already know about that 41.59 Seven three. So the cal new calculated value is this. Again, the new value is better than of the previous value. So we can again delete this old value and replace this with the new value. Similarly, we can move for the fourth wall. For the fourth wall, this is my x fourth position. Now x is my here. We can calculate the value of the a one. We can calculate the value of the c one, followed by the value of the d alpha. And the x of one are here. So again, the procedure is similar. You have to use this x alpha, a one, c one, and so on. Similarly, we can calculate the second best position by using these equations. By hence, a two, c two, and d alpha, d beta, and x two are calculated. Finally, we can calculate the values of the a three, c three, followed by the d of delta and x of three are here. So based on this x one, x two, and x three, we can calculate this new position. by using x1 and x2 are here we can get this value so in order to check whether this new solution is accepted or not we can again perform the grid selection and again we can see the new calculated value is better than of the previous value are here 
so it means again we can delete this value and we can replace this value by here and finally for the fifth wall so for the fifth wall this is my x we can substitute the value of the a1 a a1 c1 in the d of alpha and hence we can calculate the x1 here remember that this is the modular sign similarly for the a2 c2 d of beta and x of 2 we can calculate it by choosing the random number as this and this finally we can calculate the value of the a3 c3 d of delta x of 3 and hence we can see these values are here therefore we can calculate the new value of this by using these values are there so since all the values are lies between minus 5 to plus 5 so as i already told you if it lies outside the domain then you can set to the either the lower and upper, upper bound depending upon them so now check whether this new solution is accepted or not you can see the new calculated value is again better than of the previous value so we can again delete this value and we can replace the value as here now since there is no more wolf are there because we set initially the population size what is the population size in this case numerical example is 5 so that's why there is no more wolf are there so therefore it means at the end of the first equation we can see the new updated solutions are here what is the meaning of that we can st we start from this solution randomly chosen we can update the solution as here and you can see the best value obtained here is this so therefore this value will be my this value is my new updated value for the x alpha what is the next best value is my this the corresponding this solution will be now my x of beta what is that now third solution will be here this is my x of delta is there so therefore we can choose the second best third best and here now we can do the same uh, equations for the second equation what we can do we can calculate the value of the a now this time equation will be my second equation a will be here so once you are getting the value of a updated value we can perform the value of this x1 x2 x3 calculate the new value and update the new solutions again and again until you will set the maximum equations so once you will perform this so we can see at the end of the fifth equation the result will be here this this and here also if you look at the at the end of the equations you can see at uh, the each wolf that is the initially the at the end of the first equation the wolf at seven point at the end of the fifth equation this since my problem is the minimization so you can see it's a decreases again it's a decrease from fifth to the tenth and again it's decrease from the fifth to the uh, tenth to the twenty and similarly for the each of one you can see at the each of them is a decreases because my problem is minimizations also you can see what is the best value obtained so far in this case is one point something what is the best value obtained here is 0 0.5 what is the best value obtained here is 2 0 0.03 what is the best value obtained here is here so again you can see they are decreasing order why because my problem is minimization and we are trying to search for the minimization problem and if you look at the graphical representation over the 200 equation the graph will be look like say here and you can see the convergence graph with the help of the gw algorithm so this is a simple working procedure of the GW algorithm. If you want to see the MATLAB code of this, this is already available in the channel list, playlist called as the evolutionary algorithm, channel name is Dr. Harishkar. Also you can see the MATLAB code of the Gaussian quantum, sine cosine algorithm, constant optimization problems. You can see the PSO, ABC, TLB and many more are there. So you can, see, you can simply browse this link, you can find the other MATLAB codes are there. I hope you can enjoy this session, you can share your video with your friends, till then. Best of luck students, happy learning.